and what is Rakhya Kumbh, Director Institute of Campus Shahabad of Indian Shikharpur. In today's class, I will be discussing with you people about the supply and uh, the factors affecting the supply. So, first of all, I will try to define the supply and what is the supply. Because in the previous classes, we have discussed about the demand, it means the behavior of the buyers and uh, that whenever price changes, how people are behaving. In today's class, we will be discussing about the supply, means about the sellers, that whenever the price are changing, how the quantities supplied are changing. So, when we are saying that economics is a study of how people and businesses behave, or how they are coping with the scarcity. So, in this context, we are saying that supply is the amount of the good, the amount of the good or service or service which people are, are the firms or the producers. Firms are producers are willing and able to sell in the market. At given prices and in a given time period. So this is simply the definition of this supply that this is the amount means the quantity of good means the things which we want to buy, the tangible things, the visible things are the things which have the ability to satisfy our needs and wants and are service, are services. These are the different types of the services which are provided by the firms and uh, services like these are called the intangible. In the goods we can include just suppose pain, mobile, food, clothes, TV and so on. These are the different, simply the names of the goods. And in the service, we can say the teaching, the driver service, the lawyer services, the police services, doctor services, and so on. These are the few examples of the services that people want to buy. And uh, which firms? Firms means businesses are firm organizations. Business organizations are we can say the producers means those who are converting the inputs or raw materials into the final goods and outputs and uh, they convert the input to output just like the producers of the soft drinks the producers of the degree like the educational institutions and so on are willing they must be willing they must have the 
aptitude and give us a delighting. They are ready, willing and able. They, not only they are willing to sail, but they must have the ability to sail the goods and services. So here the term ability means if I claim that I start from today teaching the medical courses, but it, it will be only my claim, it will be only my want or desire that I wanted to teach the medical courses, but when I check my ability, I don't have the degree related with the medical sciences, so I cannot teach. I will not be able to teach the uh, medical courses in a state of my willingness. To sail means selling means just selling to the people that they wanted to sail. They can become in market. Market. Market is a place. They are buying and selling tax plates because in the capitalist economic system, we we have already discussed that in the capitalist society, what goods should be produced or decided by the market through the demand and supply signals. So that's why we say that the market, so market is a place there. To the place, they are buyers and sellers in turn to sell their goods or services, and the buyers they are willing to buy the goods or services. Market is given prices means whatever the prices are given. Because when we say that if the price is 20, how much someone is buying of a pen, of, of any product, when the price is 20, uh, when the price is 20, how much a firm is selling, when the price is 21, how much a firm is selling, and 23, how much the firm is willing to sell, and so on. If given prices means the different prices in a given time period. The time should be mentioned. Just suppose we say that in a week the price per juice is and the quantity supplied of juices. Just suppose when the price is 20, 10 juices are demanded, uh, uh, are supplied by the firms, and the price is 21, we say suppose 12 juices firms are willing to supply, and the price is 22, they are willing to supply more, the 30. So, time here mentioned is that in a week, that whenever the price of the juice is 20, the firm that are the firms, they are willing to supply 10 items, it price 21, they are willing to supply 12, and so on. So if we must mention the time period, if it's a day, whether it's an hour, whether it's a month, whether it's a year. And uh, another term which is related to the supply is Of a good 
or we can say any good or service increase or wise the quantity supply of the food or service will form will will also rise interest there is means when all else remain same when other things remain same whenever the price of anything rises or increases the quantity supplied of that thing will also rise or increase and the vice versa we can reverse this statement that whenever price of any good good or service falls the quantity supply of that good will also fall citrus berries means whenever the price of anything falls the sub quantity supplied are also falls when other factors remain constant so this is the law of supply and we simply say that in the law, law of supply means there is a positive relationship between the quantity supplied and the price and uh, through the graph we can also explain the supply that here we mention the price here we mention the quantities and originally we mentioned the quantities we say that whenever the price is increasing the quantity is also increasing so that's why we say there is a positive relationship between the price and the quantity supplied but we have to keep in mind the term citrus sterilis this type of the relationship will exist only when all else remains same so what does all else means in this in the context of the supply the law of the citrus sterilis in the law of supply means where determinants of supply these are changes in technology changes in input price number of producers and uh, taxes and in future expectations so these are the determinants of the factors which are affecting the supply that whenever we say that when the price of anything rises supply will also rise but citrus paribus should be there and citrus paribus means other than price all other factors which can the impact on the supply will remain same they have to remain same so that we can get the exact response from the supply thank you very much for this for listening and watching